here at the command center of the JW Solar USA. So guys, uh, this is what I said on the first video uh, when I unboxed the, uh, the other batteries. And this is a Nissan Leaf 2012 Nissan Leaf. Guys, you started seeing the work I started doing here. And if I can refresh your memories, that's why I wrote this number right here. You see when I do the voltage test on those uh, Nissan Leaf batteries, uh, this one um, was up up to about 8.02 volt. You know, if you divide that by two, by crossing into the terminal here, one terminal here, one terminal here will give you half of the battery. And one here and there is half of the battery. So the battery itself is a 66 amp hours, um, 12 volt. Uh, 66 amp hour, sorry, at um, uh, 7.6, well, which can go up to about um, 8.2. So, guys, um, this is the thing. So I'm trying. To, I'm I'm balancing them. I'm not trying. I'm balancing these batteries, but I I ran out of boss bars. But I'm trying to improvise something here. Maybe I can use something to bridge this. So I have the bars, okay? But I don't have all the stuff to go about it. Hold on. They sent me all kind of boss bars here. Anytime I buy batteries so I can go about it. So I can build, customize my own boss bars. So the thing is I need um, a vice grip or bench grip, bench vice grip, whatever it's called. Then I can use a uh, uh, thing to drill all the way in. But I need the accuracy there because I already compressed these batteries. I want them to be on the same length and the same hole, which I have to go to one of my friends. That's one of the things I don't have on my tool because that's a heavy duty thing. I don't use these things all the time, you know, bench press. And I can able to customize these bus bars. And I even had these ones here which they're longer and uh i can able to utilize it like uh for example this one can just take a one or it's going to be a little bit over i don't want to waste any portion of that boss bar so that's i'm touching this so i don't want you to uh worry because um these are all native these are the ground side and these are center tap and these are all the positives so when you look at it here is a one battery what i did well here is one battery five batteries all in parallel and uh center taps and negatives right here so by jumping now if i'm going to turn this battery to a 12 volt jumping these two terminals right here after i already do all these connections here okay stop here and stop there there's going to be one here, I can just use one shot of this short bar, bus bar, and connect it. That already series the, the thing into um, 8.2, 8.2, it's going to be about 16.4. So the 12 volt um, inverter, um, maybe I'm going to use to charge this, it takes about 17 volt input. So it's not a big worry at all. So I'm trying to do this, but I ran out of this. The original ones and by doing the center taps you end up wasting a lot of boss bars you have to put about four of them so i want to get this to my friend dave and shut this thing together i don't know if you heard that little tsh. yeah because i touched this side and this thing jumped over and touched that one so it art so um this is what i want to do and see if um dave no, Dave, the grill, grill master Dave is Dave, the other guy with the, um, the, uh, the snowmobile thing, the new Dave, you guys watch. Grill master is not that one. He's far away from me. So the other Dave is closer. So this is what I want to do and set up all these things. If I get them all this, this battery would have been balanced today, tomorrow. Then I can able to uh, test the voltage again. And, and I have a fluke that is coming. Then I'm going to be using as now on and I'm going to retire the other ones so as backup. 
but I'm going to be using those. So this is what I have to do this side and this side all this center apart and get this battery all done, figured out and uh want to charge it and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with this battery pack. So right now I can able to continue all the way because I didn't cut those boss this um metals yet the threaded rods i can continue by removing these and get this one i can put up to bar because if it's 10 here i can put about 20 all the way here or 24 it can still hold it i can put it vertical horizontal and out whatever i want to do so i can set it this way see so it can be whatever uh, application I want to use. I can lay it sideways, you know. So, yeah, stay tuned for this. And uh, I'm going to be bringing you updates live from the command center of the JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Bye. Now I've got this system tied up here. And I'm still working on the boss bars. I have to put more of here and here. So I'm balancing this battery bank right now. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set up the meter up here and uh, see what each cell is going to give you or is going to read on this device right now. So we're going to be doing the center tap and the uh, other one here. This is the positive here, the red cell on this side. So... Let's take a look and see how everything works. Let's see, 3.7, 3.7 is balancing, 3.76, 3.76, 6 See me, I'm right there. So I'm going to be jumping on this other one here. Okay. And 3 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 8.7. 3.7. And 3.7 you guys can see I was going backwards so if we're trying to test the voltage now on here this was the highest battery um, uh, so still reading at uh, 3.7 8 3.7 8 so we can take the probe and put it here on the positive side of the this one which I'm going to try to hold, see if I can do it. And here. So it gives us a 7.56. So it's going to work its way all the way to the end. And I'm going to set this thing tied up like this probably for the next two days or whatever. And I'm going to take the boss bars out. 7.56. So you see the flickering there, it's doing this thing, 1.57. So I'm going to take the, bo uh, the boss bars here and transfer them back here the next time to get these ones all balanced. From there, when I get the other ones cut, then I can con connect them all and balance them all. Alright guys, I finally got... Uh, Boss bars from my Ford Focus batteries that I had. If you can see these ones here, they're smaller, and I have some new ones I haven't used. This is how they look like. It's, it's kind of a little bit different. So, and that's what I use to set up these. Um, the last ones here. So I'm taking these, these are all the positives. If you see here, you can see the red on the corner. They're all the positives. So I use these ones just like a neutral, not a neutral. And these uh, should be all the positive, but I don't have enough. You know, I can put the third one, there's gonna be one more remaining 
to get a complete of the part um okay they, that's right this is uh the positive this is going to be all negatives here negatives here positives here so um the balancing process already started so if i can go like this again and try it what we've been doing so 3.64 3.64 3 3.64 3.64 3.64 that's the row right there the last one so i'm jumping to this one now okay 3.64 3.64 so it's all completed so what we're gonna do now we're testing the previous or the the voltage now of the uh, battery itself since I already got the 3.64 um, battery so let's see let's move this meter right in the center here if i can able to see it <laughs> interesting all right guys this is the way i've done it and look at that is 7.29 so let's try this other batch on the other side here we worked on earlier so the same thing here same thing there 7.64 okay let's try again the other one 7.29 so 7.64 the other one 7.29 so you see this is the one that was higher is balancing itself the dropping the voltage so i would have went this way um going across and tie this ones and tie this ones and tie this ones well because of the uh i have the positive on the other side and negative here i have the positive here and negative so that i can able to tie for um the 12 volt system so that's why i didn't connect them so i just want them to balance themselves uh, two packs like two packs doing this thing after they get the same voltage then I can able to have an extra and do whatever I was gonna do Thanks for watching Stay tuned. Bye for now